Cookie Robinson, how's everybody doing? As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, why I don't ride as much as I do. Well, I've been having these foot pains in my heels. I changed my stance, I bought different sneakers. I did some of the exercise, but it's been going on for some time now. So it looks like I'll be dropping my riding for, at least, for the next month at least until I do some more exercise and try to get that pain to go away. Because if I get on my wheel, I've noticed I ride for about three miles and I'm in severe pain. I have to get off, I have to walk, stretch, and then I get back on it, ride another three or four miles, and here I am, pain, I can't control the wheel because the pain is so great. So great, so then what I do is I get off, walk it again. So that's, that's lately has been my way of riding. Three miles, take a break, four miles, take a break, five miles, take a break, and I can't go with long consistencies in riding because my legs just hurt so bad. So I'm learning that the kind of it's very uncomfortable, I don't like it, but it's something that I have to do. So it looks like I'm gonna be putting down my electric unicycle for at least, I'm gonna try for at least two weeks to a month and try these exercises that I see. I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a appointment to see the doctor, podiatrist for my feet and see what he says. But nevertheless, I'll be going to the doctor and try to get this out of the way, but it's very uncomfortable. Here I am right now in my town right now. I'm gonna put three miles and here I am taking a break. It's, it just hurts, feet hurts, so. Looks like I have that. I have, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, but I got all the symptoms of that pain. So I will be looking into that. But for a while, you might not see videos coming up for that very reason. All right, we'll talk soon. What's going on? Cookie Robinson here. Just taking a stroll in the local streets on my Sherman. Little by little, taking, you know, distant rides and taking a break and enjoying the view. Nothing big, but I do want to bring up a conversation uh, in regards to these new electric unicycles that are coming out here, one out of the other. Looks like Bogoti had an arsenal of wheels there, trying to chase somebody out like in motion. In motion is coming there with their new V13, and here comes Bogoti with all these wheels, along with the new T4, the Master Pro. Ooh, goodness, you know what I mean? They just got the Master out, you know? And the EX2, recent, not long ago, with the, along with the Hero, all suspension wheels. Now we got this V13, it looks like a Cadillac or BMW. But, <laughs> but the prices are astronomical. They're just, they're just out of the control. These prices they have on these wheels now are something to think about and consider. There's gonna be an elite few that are gonna buy that V13. And even maybe the Monster Pro, I'm not sure what's the price on it, but it's a big wheel. I think it's 116 pounds, where the V13 is 110 pounds, I mean, you, these are cruising wheels. They're, they're not even nimble wheels. I'm sure you can make them nimble if you've got a good experience in riding them. But these are not local wheels that you can get up and pedal and go and jump aside and make a quick turn left. You know, these are big, heavy wheels, and they're tall. I'm a short guy, so that thing is going to be right between my legs and make a full, you know, full shelf, if you will. But nonetheless, those wheels are out. Now we got Leaperkin sending out a picture of a suspension wheel. Just a picture, nothing else. And there was another one that... Uh, Needs to catch up because they had a little problem with the Abrams. I really like the Abrams, but it, it's already, personally for me, unfortunately, it's got a bad name for the cutouts. They said they updated it with the uh, so, uh, hard, uh, software update. Well, I never rolled one, but I, but I really, that, I thought that was one of the wheels I was going to buy. But unfortunately, I'm not. Then, of course, all these other wheels coming out right after the other. So that's um, incredible, the amount of wheels that are coming out now. So I'm looking forward to purchasing another suspension wheel. I'm not sure which one. I'm not looking forward to spend $4,000 or even $4,500. I mean, come on, where's the limit? What's gonna happen next year? 5,000, 6,000, who knows? But is that, you gotta draw a limit. Well, right now you're gonna probably see more wheels selling now more. The T4 is gonna sell like hotcakes, just like when the V11 came out. That's incredible. I see that. If that wheel's as good as they say it is. Um, you also got, um, let's see what's another good wheel that you can probably buy within the $3,000 range. Not much, really. They're all 3000 and up, basically. That's new wheels. But if you buy um, an older wheel, Nikola, it's a good wheel. The AR, you can buy. Um, or the regular, just plus. I mean, it's a good wheel. Uh, you also got the, uh, the 16X in the Keysum products. I mean, that S22, apparently, is coming out to be a decent wheel so far. I've seen a lot of videos, and I'm noticing that um, they're coming out with a, nice, a lot of nice, they're coming out, they're coming, they're doing their vengeance back. But they have to come out with another wheel. Once you taint your wheel with an issue, it's hard to come back to it. 
Um, I'm personally not like that, but I know a lot of people is, especially when you go on electric forums, electric unicycle forums, where you see these people talking about and, you know, just literally destroying some of these companies. You know, it's just one wheel or one batch, you know. Stand your guard, and if you like the wheel, buy it. Make sure you do your studies and reviews on it. And if the S22 is for you, buy it. If the V13 is for you, buy it. You know what I mean? If the Master is good for you, the Master Pro, the T4, the Hero. One of the wheels, as a matter of fact, that I haven't heard from a lot, I don't see no videos, the Commander. That's a $4,000 wheel. It went to the wayside really quick. So, but a lot of famous wheels that are going to sell are going to be continuous, like the RS19. That's another nice wheel that, um, excuse me, that's going to, that's going to, that's selling like hotcakes. So there's a lot of good wheels out there if you're looking just to, to be the hobbyist, like myself. Uh, you're not using it for, like I have the Sherman, but when I go out across town, I use the Sherman. If not, I'm most of the time using my V11 because I like the, the, I like the suspension, especially when I just changed the tire recently. It's like night and day. It's phenomenal. It's like, it rides like a Cadillac now. But today I went across town. I was going about two, three towns over. I took the Sherman. So with that, so with that, you see that um, we have a lot of competition coming on. Lieberkin, let's see what they got, you know? That's gonna be something to look forward to. And then after Lieberkin comes out with their wheel, the suspension wheel, then I can see it another second wheel. Let's see what, what, what they're looking at for price, range, battery, motor, and all that good stuff, you know? Software, no issues, the BMS and so forth. But we'll see. We're gonna have to continue this uh, conversation, you know, at a later time, and see what comes, what's about, what's coming about these uh, new wheels. We'll talk soon. I just want to advertise that you still got the Sherman you can purchase. Damn good wheel. 20 inch with knobby. And um, it's got a lot of range on it, especially for me. If I can get, you know, everybody wants this range wheel. You know, I don't, I don't, if I put 30 miles in a day on occasion, that's a lot. But it's always in the 20. So uh, don't be despair or feel bad about these new wheels coming out. Which one are you going to choose? You still got the old models. So pick your choice. Make a wise decision. Dig deep in your pockets. I'm not sure whether away from the cross or just try to go carefully between them. I think I'm gonna to try to go between them. I hope they don't chase me. <laughs> this is gonna be an experience. All right, guys. Jerry, Tom, Lewis. <laughs> go ahead, I'll wait. I'll wait, I got all day. Come on, guys. I'm going somewhere. This is just beautiful. Isn't nature awesome? No, I'm saying no to me. Hello, excuse me, can I get behind? No, why say no to me? I know you're perking your chin up there, your little beak. That means you're gonna chase me or you're gonna allow me to go through. I am going to proceed with caution if you decide to chase me. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you for making way for me. I really appreciate that. You guys have a good evening. You guys have a good evening. Let me find my way home. It's uh, here in the evening. It's um, about 7.30 in the evening already. It's gonna get dark soon. And I didn't record anything. I'm just a bunch of geese at the park right now. I mean, just shooting the breeze here my way home. I'm just literally about a mile from the house. <clears throat> All right, let's do this.